Hi, I'm Dawson Church, and today we're going to work together using EFT on removing the emotional intensity from a childhood event that had to do with food. People who don't have an eating disorder or a lot of emotional intensity around food just see food as food. They may really enjoy food, they may be indifferent to food, but to them food is food. To those of us who struggle with weight and food, often food has all kinds of emotional meanings. For example, you might think back to a meal that you had as a child that was really horrible, that was really a nightmare. Perhaps it was a Thanksgiving dinner, you had a lot of anticipation, and then your parents had a big fight, or you had a, were bullied by a relative, an, an uncle, a cousin, and it didn't go well at all. So many of us have mixed emotions around food and around eating certain things. So the whole purpose of this exercise is to remove those emotional tags and make food just food. You can just eat food. It no longer has a big emotional load attached to it. So I'd like at first to think back to a single event from your childhood in which food had an emotional meaning. As I think back, I'm recalling a dinner when I was a teenager, maybe 11 or 12, and we were living in South Africa. My father was a missionary there. We had a maid, and she was bringing in the food. I was hungry, but I remember the underlying level of tension at that dinner was so, so high. So on the outside, it looked like a very nice, happy family dinner. There was music playing in the background, and my mother was there, my father was there, my sister was there, but under the surface, there was so much emotional tension. I remember there was just a dread, an emotional dread there, a feeling of dread. And when I think back to that event now, I, I would score it about a, an 8 on the intensity scale. So that's an example of an event. So think of your event and give it a name. Your name is your reminder phrase. So if this was a movie, if this event were a movie, start, middle, and end, what would you call the movie? What's the name of the movie? That name is your reminder phrase to remind you of the event. The reason we do this and use a reminder phrase is what we want to really capture the emotional intensity of the event so we can tap it away. And when you think of the name of the event, that's called exposure. You're exposing yourself to that memory. And that lights up all the circuits in the emotional part of your brain that have to do with that event. And when those circuits are all lit up, we can then tap and they can all then release that emotional charge they now carry. So that's the purpose of capturing the emotion. You might not want to look at the event, it might be scary or miserable or horrible, triggering to think about the event, but trust me, we'll be over it very, very soon. So it's helpful now to write down the name of the event and your intensity level. We have people do this with EFT because often your number and your intensity drops so fast your left brain, your conscious mind, can't believe it. So write down your number. Grab your smartphone, grab a piece of paper and a pencil, write down the name of your event, name of your movie, and your intensity level on a scale of 0 to 10, where 0 is no intensity, 10 is maximum intensity. I'm about an 8 as I think back to that miserable dinner. Okay, so you've now got your reminder phrase, and you've now got your emotional level. Let's do some tapping and see how that changes. First of all, tap on your karate chop point. Let's say out loud, even though that bad thing happened, and name the bad thing, I totally accept myself. Even though the bad thing happened, name the bad thing, I totally accept myself. The bad thing happened, name the bad thing, and I have compassion on myself. The bad thing happened. The bad thing happened, and name the bad thing. The bad thing happened, and I have compassion. Name of the bad thing, Say it out loud again, name of the bad thing. Name of the bad thing. Name of the bad thing. One more time, the karate chop point, name of the bad thing. Okay, another deep breath. 
Good. Now, think of the name of your movie again, tune back into it, do the exposure part of EFT, and get a new number. I was an 8 before, and I felt like a tingling in my left leg that told me I was an 8. Now I may be a uh, 3. So I've gone up from an 8 to a 3, but there's still a 3 intensity there. So we'll now work on the remaining intensity. So tap your putty chop point, and say, this bad thing happened. Name the bad thing. And I have compassion on myself. I have compassion on that child who went through that terrible experience. I'm an adult now. I'm safe. And I have compassion on that poor kid. That poor kid who is me. The adult me has compassion on the kid me. Terrible things happened. Name the terrible thing. And I accept myself. Under your eye, the bad thing happened, and I accept myself. That should never have happened to a child, and it did. I accept my life the way it is, and the way it is not, even though the bad thing happened. Quite a chop point, the bad thing happened. The bad thing happened. And I have compassion on that poor child who was me. But I'm safe now. I'm an adult. I've grown up. I've survived. Even that. And this adult survivor has compassion on that poor child. I have compassion on me. I love and accept myself. My big self my little self, even though the bad thing happened. The bad thing happened. The bad thing happened. Name of the bad thing. I accept myself. I'm okay now. The bad thing happened, and I'm okay now. I'm looking back at that bad thing with the passage of time, it was a long time ago, I'm safe now, and I survive. Now say it out loud. Say the name of the bad thing loudly. The bad thing. The bad thing. The bad thing. Say it loudly. Dramatize it. Focus on it. The bad thing. Loudly. The bad thing. Compassion on myself, even though that bad thing happened. Take a breath. Oh, it feels so good. And I'm thinking back to that scene now with the food, with the tension at the table. And I'm feeling, you know, maybe a one or less than one intensity. So it's gone way, way, way down for me. And hopefully it has for you as well. So tune back into your body. What number are you? and write down your new number. The chances are it's gone way, way, way down. If it didn't go down, then check out the nine gamut routine video on EFT Universe, where there's more information about how to work with issues, with events, where your number is not going down. It's a really useful video to watch, be familiar with the nine gamut routine. So hopefully this has helped you let go of some of the intensity. And once you tap on event after event, after an event like this. Eventually food becomes just food. It's no longer this emotion-laden experience to eat a meal. You're eating out of enjoyment, what of hunger, eating for all the right reasons. You're no longer being driven by those emotions and by those cravings. When that happens, guess what? It's easy to let go and just let food be food and you be you and feel love for yourself just the way you are. Thank you so much for your attention. Play this as often as you need to to release those emotions around those events. Be happy and love yourself.